Hello, my name is Eniola and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I got into machine learning without a computer science degree or a PhD. So let's say you are a recent grad or you are a current working professional and you would like to transition into machine learning. I highly recommend you watch this video to the end and I would also be leaving the links to everything I talk about in the description below. So without much further ado, let's get into the video. So a bit of background about me. My formal university education is in electrical engineering from Covenant University in Nigeria. And my graduate degree is in engineering design from McMaster University here in Canada. And I currently work as a machine learning engineer at an AI research institute where I help to develop and deploy machine learning models into software products. So what is machine learning? So machine learning is simply a subfield of computer science that allows computers to learn how to do a task without being explicitly told how to do so, but rather they get to do this learning using data. And most of us have probably interacted with um, various machine learning applications in our day-to-day -day lives from um, personal assistant devices like Alexa or even um, getting movie recommendations on Netflix. So why did I get started in machine learning in the first place? During graduate school, I got to attend an event organized for students at the Google Waterloo office and while I was there I got to learn about the different ways the engineers were using AI in various applications for example the autocomplete feature in Google search which helps predict the next word in your search query to the smart reply feature in Gmail which suggests responses to your email messages and it was so fascinating listening to the different ways that we are applying AI in products. And at that point, I realized that this was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. The first step to getting started was to learn the Python programming language. So Python is currently one of the most popular programming languages in tech, especially within the machine learning and data science um, field. So it's very easy to understand, it's very beginner friendly, which was perfect for me at the time. And so to learn the language, I took the Introduction to Computer Science and Programming course on EDX. So once I had a basic understanding of computer science fundamentals and I knew how to write computer programs, I then moved on to taking an actual machine learning course. And I enrolled for the machine learning course on Coursera which was taught by Andrew Eng and I'm sure now that this is the most popular machine learning course in the world and rightfully so as it's an amazing course and I cannot recommend it enough to anyone. Andrew Eng is a fantastic teacher and if you ever see this video Andrew Thank you so much. You changed my life. <laughs> so um, yeah, the course is great. It covers topics ranging from linear regression to support vector machines to decision trees to neural networks to clustering to recommender systems and so much more. So like I said, I would definitely recommend anyone just starting out to definitely take this course. After completing the ML course, my next step was to brush up on the math behind these algorithms. And these include topics like probability, statistics, and linear algebra. And the courses I took for these are the probability and statistics course by Stanford Online and the linear algebra course by MIT. And so a lot of people say, what's the point in taking these math courses when in practice, most of the math is being handled by existing numerical software libraries. But for me, it was important that I not only understood how the algorithms work, but then I also understand the underlying math behind the algorithms. And this has proven to be very helpful for me in my current work as I'm able to easily debug models and even come up with new creative ways in solving tasks. So I would highly recommend that you also take um, a brush up on your math skills or even take the courses if you haven't taken those courses back in university. 
So once I had learned how to program using Python and then learned the basics of machine learning and then also learned the underlying math behind these algorithms, it was time to put my newly acquired knowledge into practice. And to do this, I built a web application called Similar Business, which helps users find similar B2B businesses in Canada. And working on this project helped me to go through the entire machine learning process from formulating the user problem into a machine learning problem to identifying the type of data that would be needed to solve the task, to collecting this data, cleaning the data and storing the data, and then moving on to modeling. I was able to learn how to pick the model for the task how to train, how to evaluate, and how to fine tune the model, and then finally deploying that model into the web application. Once I had completed the project, I not only developed good machine learning skills, I was also able to develop good software engineering skills ranging from front-end engineering to back-end engineering. So next, I then moved on to more advanced concepts like deep learning, and as usual, I went back to the OG, Andrew Eng, and I took his deep learning specialization course on Coursera, and it was amazing, as usual, because Andrew is a phenomenal teacher. And taking that course, I was able to master the fundamentals of um, deep learning, ranging from learning how to train, evaluate, and optimize neural networks to more sophisticated architectures like the convolutional neural networks to sequence models. So after completing that specialization, I moved on to grounding my knowledge in deep learning by reading and implementing concepts in deep learning research papers. And I did this using the Papers with Code website, which is also an amazing resource, and I will leave the link below. And so once I was, once I had deepened this knowledge I then applied for my first internship at an amazing AI startup and the rest is history so all in all while it seemed very daunting at first for me because I had to learn all of these from scratch it was a very exciting journey for me because I got to fall in love with learning about AI and learning about machine learning and learning about deep learning it was amazing and I had the best teacher in the world which is the internet by my side so I was good. So to recap, there are six major steps to getting into machine learning via a non-conventional route. So the first step is to learn to program using Python. The second step is to take a machine learning course. The third step is to learn the math behind these algorithms. The fourth step is to practice the knowledge you've just gained by building or working on a machine learning project. The fifth step is to move on to more advanced topics like deep learning and build up on your knowledge by reading and implementing research papers. And the sixth and most important step is to fall in love with learning, is to be open to failing, is to never stop learning, never stop practicing, and never ever doubt yourself. So, thank you so much if you found this video helpful please 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 like share subscribe and leave a comment below and i'll see you next time bye